the next topic is pmp part 2 so next topic that is direct and manage execution uh, project execution is the phase where project related processor or processes are implemented tasks are assigned and resources are allocated uh, the method also involves building deliverables and uh, satisfying the customer requirements. Project managers or uh, team leaders accomplish the task through resource allocation and by keeping the team members focused. So there are actually a lot of uh, essential things that are taken care of during the execution phase. The inputs during the execution phase are project management plan or PMP, approved change request, enterprise environmental factors, organizational process assets, tools and techniques used to the expert judgment and project management information system. The outputs are deliverables, uh, work performance information, uh, request uh, of for change and updates to the project management plan and project document updates. So some of the works done during the project execution that generally the project team should direct and manage are Perform activities to accomplish the project requirements, creating the project deliverables, staff train and manage the team members assigned to the project, obtain, manage and use of resources including materials, tools, equipment, facilities, etc. Implement the planned methods and standards, establish and manage the project communication channels both external and internal to the project team. Generate project data such as cost, schedule, technical and quality progress and status to facilitate the forecasting. Issue change request and adapt. Approved or acceptable changes into the project scope plans and environment. Manage risk and implement risk response activities. Manage sellers and suppliers. Collect and document the lesson learned. So the generally uh, uh, performed approved changes first one is corrective action that means that uh, that problems or mistakes or errors already happened so once if uh, during corrective action uh, after the error occurred that we are going to rectify the given error preventive action means uh, it will be like uh, before the error occurs like uh, to minimize the risk and defect repair means to correct any manufacturing or service problems monitoring and control work uh, the project monitoring and control phase uh, is it's all about measuring the performance of the project and tracking progress it's implemented during the execution phase uh, the main goal of this phase is to check whether everything aligned with the project management plan especially concerning financial parameters and timelines so uh, monitoring and control, we can tell it's the responsibility of the project manager to make necessary arrangements, adjust, uh, necessary adjustments and arrangements related to resource allocation and ensure that everything is going on track. Uh, to help this, a project manager may conduct uh, review meetings and uh, get uh, regular performance reports. The inputs for monitoring and uh, control work, project management plan, performance reports, enterprise environmental factors, organizational process assets, Tools and techniques is expert judgment and outputs, change request, PM plan updates, and project document updates. Monitoring and control a project or a process is concerned with comparing the actual performance of the project with the project management plan. Assess the performance in order to determine if there exist or if there need any changes. Identify new risk, track, monitor the existing project risk and also to provide a risk mitigation strategy. Provide information to support the status reporting, progress measurement and forecasting and also to forward the same to the senior management. Provide forecast to upgrade current cost and current schedule information and as well as update the documents. Monitor the implementation of approved changes whether it has any effect on the schedule or budget performance integrated change control inputs of pmp project management plan work performance report change request enterprise environmental factors organizational process assets tools and techniques are expert judgment and change control meetings 
outputs are change request, project management plan updates, and project document updates. The source of change request. It may happen from the stakeholders because stakeholders may have or may ask for changes at any time. A change request sometimes comes from the regulatory bodies or from the senior management and it is compulsory or mandatory. Any changes must go through the integrated change control system so as to know that whether it is having any effect on the budget or schedule. Sometimes emergency change request will come. You may decide to first to implement it originally and later stages to update the project management plan or the project documents. Closing the project or phase, the inputs are project management plan, accepted deliverables, organizational OPA, organizational process assets, tools and techniques, expert judgment, outputs, final product service or result transition, organizational process assets, updates. Next is project closure. With much time and effort invested in the project planning, it is often forgotten that the final phase of the project management life cycle phases are, is equally important. Uh, upon completion of the project and timely delivery to the client, it is the role of the project manager to highlight the strength, list the takeaways of the project, identify the ambiguities, and suggest how they could be rectified for future projects. Taking time to recognize the strength and weakness will help to handle projects with more dedication. This in turn build the project manager's credibility. Uh, generally, you need to perform the project closure regardless why did the project end successfully completed, cancelled or failed. The team should be uh, like fried up, uh, like cheered up. Uh, whatever may be the outcome, it should be informed to the stakeholders. Uh, the bills to be settled and the deliverables must be hand over even in the case of failed projects deliverables must be partially reusable for the future projects next is project scope doing the right stuff uh, the work that is included in the project there is a project scope the process is all about making sure that everyone concerned with the project is clear about what the project is aimed at and what it includes. Scope changes and uh, alters mostly the project itself. So it is essential that the project boundaries are well defined from the beginning of, and are carefully monitored. Changes can occur at any point in time, but even the simplest of changes can have a, a lasting result uh, on the outcome of the project. The project scope uh, management includes uh, uh, six uh, processes. Uh, plan scope management, uh, collect requirements, define the scope, create work breakdown structure, verify or validate the scope, and control the scope. Project time management or project schedule management. It's a process that refers to how the project manager manages his schedule for the particular project. It includes the time that is scattered to complete each individual task pertaining to the project's objectives with the desired skills, tools, and techniques. In order to become a successful project manager, one has to clearly understand the activities of the project and should possess the necessary skill to plan, schedule, and control a project within its timeline. Apart from these skills, one must also be able to utilize schedule management tools to help them analyze, measure, and assess their time management techniques. There are uh, uh, seven process, plan schedule management, define activities, sequence activities, uh, estimate the activity resources or activity duration, uh, uh, develop schedule and control schedule. So from the previous one, uh, there was actually six uh, uh, processes, but uh, this uh, estimate activity resources is included uh, with the 7th uh, edition or six, sorry, 6th edition. Uh, before it was plan schedule management, define activities, sequence activities, estimate activity duration bus. Now estimate activity resources and estimate activity duration. Uh, project cost management, it's a process that is concerned with the planning and controlling the budget of the project. 
This process includes activities such as planning, budgeting, estimating, financing, funding, managing and monitoring costs to make sure that the project is finished within the scheduled budget. It's also about handling the project's financial requirements. This phase covers and track the project's total expenditure against the actual budget to make sure that the project is moving on track and within the fixed budget. And the processes are uh, plan cost management, estimate cost, determine budget, and control cost. Project quality. Project quality management is the main criterion when it comes to determine the value of a project. The project at all times is required to meet the standards which were originally defined for it. The bottom line is that the quality of the project has to meet the needs of the stakeholders. So the process are uh, plan quality management, uh, perform quality assurance and perform quality control. That is manage uh, plan quality management, uh, manage quality and control the quality. Project human resource. It's all about how the project manager runs the project team. Firstly, he has to understand what resources, people, equipment, facilities, funding are required to complete the project at hand and then organize a team to execute the work involved. The process are develop HR plan, estimate activity resources, acquire the project team or acquire resources, uh, develop the team, manage the team and control resources. Project communication. 80% uh, of the project manager's job is to do with communication. Project communication is what keeps all the team members on the same page. If there exists a gap in the communication level, the project can have a negative impact on the final product of the project. So communication has to take place between the project manager, his team members and the stakeholders involved in the project. Then <coughs> the processor plan communication management, manage communication and monitor the communication, monitor or control the communication. So 90% of the project manager's job is communication between the team members and the stakeholders. Project risk management. Uh, in the project risk management process, the project manager should conduct risk management work and then identify and analyze the risk. Later he or she should develop a risk response plan which will control risks on the ongoing basis. These methods are introduced one by one to understand the access, the risk related to the project. It all depends on how one performs quantitative and qualitative risk assessments. Uh, the processes plan risk management, identify risk, perform qualitative risk analysis, perform quantitative risk analysis, plan risk responses, implement risk response and monitor risk procurement. It is not something that the project manager has to do on all projects, but it is quite common. This knowledge area related to the process of purchasing or acquiring products, services or result from the outside project team. This project knowledge area keeps track of all the project procurement and suppliers work starting from planning purchases, involvement in the surroundings and acquiring process to executing the task of the supplier and ultimately closing the contract when the project reaches its conclusion and the process are plan procurement, conduct procurements, uh, administer uh, procurement and close procurement. And finally, the project stakeholder management. This is the last knowledge area in the uh, PMBOK 7th uh, edition. Um, uh, the project stakeholders play an important role in determining the success and failure of the project. Getting stakeholders to take part in the project right from the beginning is crucial because they are the ones who decide on what changes will meet their requirements. If the project manager fails to involve them at the initial stage, the changes set forth by the stakeholders at the later stage will hamper the quality and value of the project. And uh, the processor are identify stakeholders, plan stakeholder engagement, manage stakeholder engagement and monitor or control stakeholder engagement. Then the code of ethics and professional conducts. 
the professional code of ethics is designed to ensure employees are behaving in a manner that is socially acceptable and respectable of one another it establishes the rules for behavior and send a message to every employee that universal compliance is expected the value that the global project management community defines as most important were responsibility respect fairness and honesty this code affirms these four values as its foundation each section of the code of ethics and personal uh, professional conduct includes both aspirational standards and mandatory standards a code of ethics and professional conduct outlines the ethical principles that governs decisions and behavior at a company or organization they gave a general outlines of how employees should behave as well as specific guidelines for handling issues like harassment safety and conflicts of interest most importantly it helps project managers make wise decisions the code of ethics and professional conduct highlights ethical values such as trust honesty re responsibility respect and fairness a code of ethics is important because it clearly lays out the rules for behavior and provides the groundwork for a preemptive warning while a code of ethics is often not required many organizations on firms choose to adopt one which helps to identify and characterize a business to stakeholders so tips for the pmp exams so the answering strategy we can follow four different methods first to read the question and then answer and then read the answer a b c d then finally decide second read the answers first then read the question and decide third one read the last sentence of the question so that we can able to avoid some ballast that means un un unwanted because uh, they will always make you uh, like a uh, uh, confused way uh, fourth one read the question then imagine that what will be the answer then go to the uh, answer and select the best one uh, that's the uh, end of this advanced project management uh, subject thank you for all and if you have any queries please uh, don't hesitate to write to my email address or to my whatsapp number thank you